So for this Christmas edition of Vegan Interactions, my mom has flown all the way over from the States for her first international trip. Very exciting stuff and just thought we'd uh, take a moment and talk about our uh, connection with animals. Growing up, how many uh, different companion animals do you think we had? Oh, when we... you were little? Oh my gosh. There were mice and rabbits and guinea pigs and a bunch. Do you think it helped uh, uh, to show me how each animal is unique and has its own personality? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it really helped you love them. I think today that's why I have such a connection with animals that I do. And thanks to my lovely mom here that <laughs> I have that connection. You made, recently made the decision to, to choose veganism, and it seems like you've had a special connection with animals your whole life. And I, uh, what kind of inspired you to kind of... Um, embrace veganism. Um, well, I was vegetarian for years. Um, and then, well, you and Allison helped me a lot learn that I could um, even go farther than that and become yeah. vegan. Um, and the, the hardest thing for me to give up um, was eggs because I figure if I'm not eating egg or eating meat, I need protein and eggs yeah. was a good way to do that, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so um, then I tried to make some, some veg eggs, which is the vegan equivalent of um, eggs and um, found out that it wasn't so hard and they're pretty tasty. So finally um, got off of the eggs and was encouraged by Casey Taft, I think, and um, to just keep trying. Yeah, that's awesome, Mom. So that's Woo! done. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> yeah, and it seemed like you uh, um, went to hear Casey speak um, and, and approached him afterwards. Do you remember what you said to him? Well, I had, my, I had his book with me that I had read and I took it to him to sign. And I told him that I was having trouble giving up eggs. And, and he just said, well, you're working on it. So yeah. that let me know that I could, I could do it. Yeah, so. and it seemed like uh, Casey's comment really, instead of focused on the things you weren't doing, said, hey, you're, you're working on it, and focused mm -hmm. on those positive things you were doing. Do you think that was part yes. of the reason you were inspired to keep going and eventually wound up becoming vegan? Uh, yeah, and my talks with you helped too. A lot. Oh, that's nice to hear. Yeah. Even more than, than how veganism is making me a healthier, older woman, um, even more important than that is knowing that I'm not hurting animals by what I eat. Um, I just can't do that anymore. You don't, I, I don't have to do that. There's no purpose in it. and. It's very unkind and unloving, and it's, there's no point. You're never too old to be compassionate. Hopefully, by the time you get older, you're more compassionate even than you would be at a younger <laughs> age. Hopefully. Hopefully wisdom would do that. <laughs> Hopefully wisdom would do something. <laughs> oh, brilliant. It sounds like you haven't only chosen veganism, you're also actively um, building awareness with others. How has that been going kind of the last couple of months, kind of talking to others about your veganism or the, the topic of veganism in general? Yeah, I'm gonna get better at that because I've learned a lot while I've been here um, on how to interact with others. So I, I hope to do a whole lot more of that when I get home. Yeah, it sounds like you're doing some of those things already and I think they take practice and we don't always get them right on the first go, but you're you're kind of getting in there, and I think, yeah, it's we're only going to continue to evolve all of us, so. Right. Where I live, there's not a whole lot of veganism. There's a lot of meat eating, and so I hope that I can make an impact there somehow. I think you already are, and I think that it's, it's hard to know the impact we're necessarily making, mm -hmm. um, and, and it's, it's, it's really just if we're doing those positive things, um, we might not necessarily see the change, mm -hmm. but the change is there and it's happening. So I, I think you're doing so. a great job. I hope so. I feel like a lot of veganism is on the way. We just have to keep 
pushing and trying and, you know, be strong, be strong, don't give up. It's great that you're getting out there and talking about it, Mom, because the, the animals deserve that. So I'm really proud of you for, for doing Thank that. Thank you. Thank you. I'm, I'm going to try and do even better because um, there are a lot of animals that, that need our help. Well, so. good. We also got to visit the, uh, the animal sanctuary, ABC, that I volunteer at each week. Did you have any um, uh, particular animals you connected with there? Yeah, met some great pigs, some great, <laughs> some great ducks and roosters, and oh my gosh, horses. There was one sheep, just enjoying her time laying in the field. Yeah, not worried about anything. That's the least animals deserve, isn't it? Just being able to just yeah. enjoy themselves in a field. Yeah, they deserve yeah, love like we free, do. Yeah, free from fear. Free from fear. I think uh, you also met um, while you were there. You met a. Um, little goat named Homer. Oh, how could I forget Homer? Oh my gosh. I love Homer. Do you think you have some uh, stories with those connections you had with the animals at the sanctuary that you can take back and help other people have more of a connection to animals? Oh, I hope so, yeah. Yeah. I and could be good at that, telling those stories or those experiences you had with them. And it's not really about, it's about my health, but that's just not the forefront. The most important point is I just cannot in good conscience hurt animals. They're, um, they're priceless. They deserve to be here like we do. Oh, thank you. Welcome to the UK, Mom. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Great to see you. Thank you. Anything else you'd like to, to add? I love you. How about that? I love you too, Mom. <laughs> yeah, Sasha's up. Uh, by Manchester, England, by the way. Ma Manchester. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go to Manchester, England on the next That's trip. That's right. <laughs> now is that... Um... <laughs> Speaking of animals, here's Chewy. <laughs> uh, Chewy would like a cameo. <laughs> Do you have anything to add, Chewy? <laughs>